Uh, thanks very much, Fern. Uh, who would have thought such, a, such an ordinary start to the day could finish with a fear of tubers? Anyway, um, it's my great pleasure this evening to introduce our special guest, Professor John Whiteleg. Uh, John's here at the Gamut and Vale event, the um, uh, difficult to pronounce, Chris, a low carbon transport for our cities workshop, I think. Um, I'm standing in tonight for our director, Nick Lowe, who would love to be here because he enjoys these events and is quite a fan of the tuber, I expect. Um, I probably got this, this task because it's relatively straightforward. With a resume like John's, you really can't go wrong. You can roll out a number of the key phrases and you really pretty much can't go wrong, except that you could understate his achievements. But I'll have a very quick go, very quick. Uh, John's resume includes work as a transport modeler, as a researcher, obviously. Um, is also a manager of transport systems. He's been an academic and a lecturer. Uh, he's the author of some eight books, obviously in his spare time, and I'd point out that one entitled Critical Mass is um, one of my favourites. Um, uh, if that's not enough, he's also a, um, a, uh, an editor of the international journal uh, World Transport uh, Policy and Practice, which I'd um, recommend to you. But I think what's of also of particular interest to this group this evening is that uh, John's been a, a tireless, and I think you can see these here tonight in the middle of a four-day workshop, which underlines the tireless part, probably that background as a cyclist coming into play there, um, is his work as an advocate. Um, he's been a lobbyist for sustainable transport across the world. Uh, he's advised the EU. He's advised a long list of, uh, of nations around the world. Um, he hasn't quite hit the Arctic spots yet, but I think there's still time. Um, but more importantly, he's also been an advocate for um, sustainable transport at the state and local level and has done a great deal of work with local government. I think that's enough for me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, John Whiteleg.